you fools! Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. This is the ESC United expert panel. And we are talking Eurovision 2020. There are 41 songs that were sent to the contest. Therefore, we have 41 videos and reviews to do. And we got the next one coming up. I'm not doing this alone. I got James, I got Connor, and I got Sean here. And the four of us will talk about Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, as usual, had an internal selection. They selected Effendi, that's her stage name now, and um, she is was supposed to perform, was set to perform Cleopatra. And it sounds like this. <laughs> So, I'm sure everyone has their thoughts and opinions, so let's not delay this any further. Let's dive right into it first. Let's talk about it, and then we'll give our scores at the end. So, James, what do you think? Uh, well, after the first 20 or 30 seconds of this song, I was uh, uh, kind of dreading it. And then they mix it up by doing that wonderful bass drop. Um, and then it just sort of ramps, it just goes into fifth gear like a, like a Ford Mustang driving around the back ass of Azerbaijan. Uh, just, uh, I really love it. Upbeat, kitsch, uh, checks all the marks. Uh, though, I don't remember Ford Mustangs in the uh, the original history. Read a history Pepper. book. Correct. Yeah. yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought it was Milk and Snakes, but uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, really love it. Upbeat, fun, kitschy. Uh, everything you want from your annual uh, kitschy up-tempo dance number. Okay, very interesting. How about you, Connor? So, first of all, the fact that Azerbaijan picked up a San Marino reject absolutely kills me. Um, and if you ever, if you haven't listened to the Senate demo of this song, it is so different and so weird. Um, but I'm actually glad that they passed on it because number one, that was not a song for her to sing. And but I think Azerbaijan did a little bit more with the song than what San Marino would have done. But with that being said, I also feel like this song doesn't really do a lot. Um, and I think that my my biggest issue is, is that like whilst I enjoy uh, kind of the verses and the chorus and what that all brings, I feel like it's the bridges that are really flat. And uh, especially like melodically, it's pretty much a lot of just kind of straight line singing. Um, and I think that this song really missed out on an opportunity to go two directions. Uh, to go a very heavy like party dance song or to go more of a traditional folk kind of sound. I don't think that they found the balance between the two of these because um, there's elements and there's moments where they all both appear. Um, but I feel like they're both like competing with each other for the entirety of the song. And half the time the dance track ends up like overpowering the uh, like folk guitar instrumental that's going on underneath it. Yeah. So you don't even notice that it's there. Um, so it's not bad. It's just like, I have a feeling that they could have simplified the track and gone one of those other two ways and it would have been better. Or they needed to step back and say, we need to figure out how to strip this a little bit. Um, that's my only critique. All right, that is fair. That's what we do here. Um, how about you, Sean? Um, I, th I think the best way to describe this entry is that it's very Eurovision and by Eurovision I mean it's a hot mess because <laughs> there's a lot of elements here that just they, they just clash and don't go together. Um, it's a really interesting choice of um, aesthetic I guess for an entry you know with the Egyptian sort of feel to it is a very strange choice for me. Um, there are some parts to it that I do like so at the end uh, the final sort of chorus um, the, the beat goes a bit harder and I think I would like it if they just turn it into like full blown, like hardcore style at the end and make a real moment. Um, it, it falls a bit short of that, but the rest of the song, it's just, it, it lurches from one idea to the other. It's not really cohesive. Um, it's just, it's, it's trashy in a lot of places. Um, and I could see it being a train wreck live as well. So all of those just add up to the perfect storm of uh, not one of the highlights of this year, really. 
Interesting. So yeah, Azerbaijan, for better or worse, will stand out, right? I think there's no denying that this will not, and it comes down to whether people click with it or not. It'll piss off a lot of people. A lot of the parts just scream like, this wraps me the wrong way. Uh, but it will have a huge, would have had a huge amount of support as well. And I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy it. I absolutely enjoy it. But I understand if people don't get it because I think, Sean, you said used the word cohesive. It's not very cohesive. It's, it's, it's uh, disjointed at times. But I'm just, I'm not going to lie. There, you know, certain songs have a moment and that is enough to suck you. And so when she goes like, and it goes like this. <laughs> And then to drop that like, boom, boom, boom. It's like, you're immediately like, oh my God, what is this? And it just never, ever leaves me again. And that is really cool. I will subtract points as well for the less impressive la, 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 la. Use words, my friends. Use words. Don't be lazy. It, la, la, la always rubs me the wrong way. And I could have done a little bit more of that. Even if you don't want to use la, 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 use some, you know, like the techno beat instead or something. But it's lazy to me. It's lazy songwriting. I do like the sass of the song. I do like some of the attitude. It's a little camp. And it's very Eurovision. I get that. And I need a, every here a few songs that are very Eurovision. That's what we're known for. It's it's noisy, it's loud, but it's fun to me. I absolutely have a lot of fun. And what I like about it, I don't apologize for what it is. You know, like you may not like us, but that's okay. We're catering to the people who will love it. And the haters, whatever. So and I have an appreciation for that. So yeah. I'm a fan. It's a little bit of a drug to me. Like I just feel like the need to go back and listen to it and that's powerful not perfect but i'm willing to look past the flaws that is my opinion it's fun so four opinions time to see four different scores here i assume or oh, maybe similar scores but i don't think based on our review that's going to be the case <laughs> so um let's find out first we're going to give our individual scores and the team scores from 10 being the best to one being the worst and james what's your score uh, my score on this one is 8.5, um, and oh. yeah, I, it is maybe a little unbalanced, like they took a Jeep Wrangler and ran right over the folk elements, with, it, if the Jeep Wrangler in the metaphor being uh, the, the sort of hard techno there. Um, it is a little unbalanced, it is a little kitschy, but as Matt said, those are flaws I can forgive, because um, there's a lot of memorable moments that just make you go... Yes, and it's a uh, fun Eurovision classic because you know full well, like on those American React videos, this is the one where people go, "What WTF?" Yeah, dude. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, yeah. you're absolutely right. Um, so, oh, you? okay, sorry. Oh no, I was just going to say, uh, despite its flaws, uh, of which there are admittedly many, I'm going to give it a high score because it's just unadulterated fun. Got it. How about you, Connor? So um, I gave it a seven overall, and I think that there are redeeming qualities in it, so I couldn't knock it too far down, uh, but this definitely isn't one of my, I guess, my standouts for the year. Um, it comes back to kind of what Sean had mentioned, that there is a sense of non-cohesion with this song, where I think that they had three different versions, um, and they liked elements of all three of them, so they just strung them all together and, and just decided to make it work. Um, if, like I said earlier, if they had chosen one pathway, this probably would have scored higher for me because it would have had the cohesion and it would have made sense. Um, but, um, I, I just, I can't put it any higher when it, when there are other entries in this contest that are more streamlined than this one. All right. Fair enough. Um, copy and paste whatever james said right here because that's exactly sums up my opinion it is unadulterated fun to me and i look past the issues that it has because it has a lot of other things that has going for it 8.5 from me as well for azerbaijan that's why i can only echo uh james's comments sean okay uh dr buzzkill is here to bring down the average score for everyone um because I can see potential in this, I do like the end, and there are some parts that I could, you know, sort of warm to. And because it's not as horrendously offensive as some other songs this year, I've given it 3.5. So okay, there's room so. for improvement, but it's not by any means the worst. But all right. it's, it's, it's not far off it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So um, those are our thoughts and our scores. And let's find out what the entire team said. So the 
as a reminder, this score that I'm going about to give you, it's not just the four of ours, it's the entire team of ESC United. And Azerbaijan, ah, blah, blah, blah. see, I butchered the name. Azerbaijan's average score from Team ESC United is 7.10. So it cracked the seven point mark. Um, James, as a supporter, you're happy with that score? Should have been higher or love to hear from you? Um, I am happy with that, Scott, and to be honest, I'm surprised it's as high as it is, because um, yeah, I thought we had a lot of detractors and Armenian sleeper agents on our team. Um, so in that regard, I'm surprised it cracks the seven, seven score there. Uh, pleasant surprise um, on that one. Okay, how about you, Sean? Like, on the other side of the scale, um, are you surprised about that score, or...? I am um, because like you. I, I haven't seen people. I know some people love it, and people, you know, they, you know, yes, queen, they stand it or whatever mm -hmm. lingo is. But um, it's yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> you you got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. You're on. You're on track. Yeah, it, it, right. it goes something like that, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. So it goes I, like this. <laughs> um, so. I can understand how some people like it, but I'm surprised it is as high as it is. Um, I guess sometimes a song in Eurovision it just it passes me by. You know, other people enjoy it, but I I just don't get it. I, this is probably just one of those cases. It happens, and I was exp I if I had to guess, I would have guessed around the seven point mark, because um, um, I actually do see depending on where you are in the Eurovision community, if you. Every platform has a different group, like depending on the age groups and just taste wise. I know the community, for instance, on the forum in East United is not always as mainstream as you were to see like on a Facebook group and stuff like that. So when you watch like YouTube top 41 videos, a lot of people have Azerbaijan really high up. So I knew that there was a lot of support, but also a lot of Sean's out there. So I think that this, um, ha I figured that this would be kind of where it would end up at. So I'm okay with it and it was expected and I'm okay with it. I'm absolutely okay with it. But where does Azerbaijan end up in the ranking? Only one way to find out. Take a look at the scoreboard. And we, we're not done yet. There are more songs to come, more videos, obviously. So this is not the final scoreboard. Um, leave your thoughts below. If you're a team Sean and say, yep, no, thank you. Or if you want to join James and Matt on this one, be like, yeah. Um, we're happy to hear that as well. Or just uh, in between Connor, that's fine as well. <laughs> so uh, we got to move on to the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, talk to you soon.